Kyle Holder, a 2015 first-round pick by the Yankees, was widely known as one of the draft's top fielders. A native of Southern California, Holder honed his defensive skills while staying close to home at the University of San Diego. Leading up to draft day, it was his play in the field that landed him with the Yankees and now has him covering ground all over the infield with high A Tampa. I haven't seen too many players his age that are as, uh, as gifted defensively as he is. The one thing that he does extremely well is he makes the routine play often and, and doesn't make mistakes on the routine balls. I've been working hard to kind of separate both offense and defense and, and creating strong points I have in each. And I think I bring good, good defensive qualities to the table. You know, there's not one player on my team that, uh, that I feel like could they could step from eight ball to the big leagues like Kyle Holder could defensively. Holder, drafted as a shortstop, has been getting almost half his reps at third this season. Third took a little bit of time to get used to. The angle and the ball off the bat coming a little harder and having to be able to react a little quicker with the spin on the ball, top spin, choppers and things like that. But I'd say I'm pretty comfortable now. I kind of like it. I like being able to kind of deep guys into bunting and kind of playing the game like that. If he's playing third base and I'm on the mound, I'll just, I don't even have to look. I'll just squat down and I know the ball's getting thrown over me right there. With his ability, you know, on defense, I mean, he's going right on offense, the quality at bats. I mean, he's going to help a team at all four infield positions, but certainly, I mean, he's as good as it gets up the middle. While Holder's defense is considered major league ready by some, his bat is an area that needs further development. After a solid spring, Holder began the 2017 season in a long slump, something new to the young infielder. I've definitely started off pretty slow. I've never personally had to deal with anything like that. So that was a little rough starting off. I didn't, I didn't think that was going to happen. I had a pretty good spring training. Felt really good coming into the plate following last season, which I had a good year. I mean, something like that happens. You just kind of got to go off how you feel and, and keep going, grinding at bat by a bat and, and letting it happen. Since the early slump, holders heated up considerably. From the beginning of July through August 10th, he batted just over 300 as he settled in at the plate against higher caliber pitching. Consistency, having a zone where I, where, what I know I can do damage on, being able to lay off tough pitches, see the ball longer, getting a consistent spot every time. You know, the stuff that uh, Eric Duncan, our hitting coach, is, is uh, working with him on is, is, uh, is good stuff about staying big part of the field not trying to do too much, always looking for that mistake. One of the things that makes him such a great defender, um, when he's going well, that's what translates to the plate. He has excellent hands, excellent barrel control. He's a guy that uh, can drive the ball from gap to gap, and he needs to continue to work on that aspect of the game. He doesn't need to hit the ball over the fence uh, to be considered a, a power guy. I think gap power is power. I'm trying to hit hard line drives up the middle, I feel like, working left center to right center and knowing what I can do at the plate, just hit balls in the gap, not trying to get too big and try to hit home runs because that's not anywhere part of my game. We faced a lot of guys in the start that were that were lights out, I feel like. I feel like we're getting all getting accustomed to it now and we kind of are, are ready for each day and the guys that they have and the arms that we're seeing. There's not much that gets them off balance. So when he's going right, it's his hand, you know, his hand to barrel control. Working good at bats, seeing a lot of pitches, fouling tough pitches off and just being a tough out.